Hey guys, Marco here. Welcome to this mini program of finger picking guitar in seven days. Now, throughout this program, guys, we are going to analyze different aspects of the finger picking uh, technique. Now, we're going to be talking about alternate fingering, how to pluck the strings with the thumb, how to play a simple melody with this uh, creative, beautiful approach, and how to play chords and a lot of different aspects. Now, obviously, we can't learn and master a technique in just seven days, but in seven days, you can definitely, definitely understand um, how to get started with this beautiful technique. So we're gonna take it step by step. Every day is a different exercise, a musical exercise that sounds like a song. So make sure that you check my Patreon page if you wanna get the tabs, okay? And also if you wanna get, if you wanna have access to all the uh, programs on blitzguitar.com, okay? You can also subscribe to the channel if you wanna, you know, keep up with all the upcoming lessons. Now, let's get started with the first uh, lesson where we're going to discuss the alternate fingering and I'm gonna show you how to pluck the strings you know what's the best way to really pluck the strings when it comes to alternate fingering so enjoy this mini course guys and let's get started all right guys now let's get started with the first exercise uh, three things really important when you pluck the strings there are three rules that you really want to follow first rule always the thumb in front of the finger right now the thumb will pluck uh, either on the fourth the fifth or the sixth string and you really want to position it in front of the uh, index middle and ring finger so that when you pluck downward you're not gonna kick the index finger okay so always in front the second rule is um, index middle and ring always 45 degree angle okay and what that means is you really want to position the fingers like this okay you don't want to pluck the strings with your fingers flat because you're more likely to grab the string okay and pull it but if you have a 45 degree angle and you can achieve that by lowering the um, wrist and having the wrist in line with the thumb okay uh, you can smoothly pluck the strings and have also a beautiful tone and the third rule, extremely important, guys, you want to articulate. So don't be scared. Uh, you don't want to try, don't try to move uh, as less as possible. Do the opposite. Just try to move your fingers so that you can uh, have volume and articulation. Okay, so if I pluck. Okay, you want to make sure that your fingers move. Don't try to move little, okay, because it doesn't work. Gives you very tiny little sound and it's not good, okay? So, three rules, um, try to follow them step by step, okay? And uh, let's get started with the melody. All right, guys, let's get started with this uh, beautiful melody. It's going to sound like this. We're gonna have two different sections. second section okay now let's start with the first section guys we are going to really focus on the alternate fingering for this lesson, okay? We're gonna start with the sixth and first string simultaneously with thumb and middle. Then you have the first string fret number two, three, five. And back to the first string open simultaneously with the sixth string again, okay? Now notice that I'm gonna start with thumb and middle and then I'm going to alternate with index, middle, index, and thumb and middle again. So I'm alternating, okay? After that, I'm gonna strum a an E minor chord, very simple chord, okay? Sixth open, fifth and sec fifth and fourth string fret number two, and the third, second and first open. Just one strum with the thumb, okay? So now the second chord is G, uh, D major chord and A minor, okay? So what am I playing here? I have the uh, fourth string now played with the thumb, okay? And the first string for number two. I'm gonna start by playing uh, with thumb and middle finger. 
Then I have the first string for number three, for number two, okay, and fifth string and first string open, okay, which is the A minor chord. So, and then A minor chord, very simple chord. Fifth open, fourth string fret two, third string fret two, second string fret one, and the first open. We want to strum with just the thumb, okay? So the D major again, guys, alternate finger, yeah? Thumb and middle, index, middle, and thumb and index, and then the chord. Now, when we repeat that uh, the second time, we're going to have exactly the same uh, melody, same blocking, and the chord. Now the melody will be different on the D major you're gonna have. Okay, so you have a D major starting on the fourth string open and the first string fret number two. Same plucking guys, yeah? Thumb and middle. Then the first open, the second string fret number three. Okay, so. And then we play a beautiful a major chord, okay? Now the A major chord is a very basic chord. Um, fifth open, fourth string, fret two, third string fret two, and the second string fret two, okay? And the first open. So it's a basic A major. I actually play like this. I like to play second, first, and third here. Okay, so D major. Right. So you basically have two different sections uh, for beginners here. I'm going to play the whole thing one more time. And again. All right. Now the second uh, section is still alternate fingering, but it's a little bit more challenging. So let's check it out Now what we're gonna do here guys, we're going to play the same melody, okay, but we're going to uh, alternate it with the second open string, so Okay Now how does it work? Uh, the melody is the same, so we're going to start by plucking the 6th and the 1st string open, always thumb and middle, and then we're going to play the 2nd string, okay? Then we have the 1st string for number 2, and then the 2nd string open, then the 1st string fret 3, and the 2nd open, fret 5, 2nd open, okay? so. We finish with the sixth open and the first open, and then second and first, three and four and. Okay, so you have it four times. So as you can see, I'm always alternating. I'm always playing the first string with the middle and the second string with the index, always alternating. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now the second chord is D major going to sound like this. Okay, you want to put down the first string fret 2 and the second string fret 3, that's, that's like a ba basic D major chord, and we're going to be plucking the uh, fourth string and the first string with thumb and middle, then the second, okay, so you want to do it twice, okay, the first time with thumb, with the thumb as well, so thumb and middle, second string, then the first, and then the second. Then we're going to change the note here, we're going to play the first string fret number 3. You want to uh, keep the second string fret 3, okay? So the first string fret 3 and the second string fret number 3, okay? So and back to the fret 2, okay? You really want to take it step by step here guys. The movement is always the same, thumb and middle, index. last chord is A minor, very simple, okay? The A minor is the fifth string, 
um, open, the second string fret 1 and the first open. You start by plucking simultaneously, 5th and 1st, and then the second string fret 1, and then you keep alternating for another 3 times. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so the entire section, sorry. start again and the E minor is going to be the same same thing now the D major okay we're gonna play uh, the same um, D major so first string fret 2 second string fret 3 we'll be like the same here thumb and middle second string first string second string okay and then we play the first open and the second string Strand number three, okay? So it's one and two and three, four, okay? So we go from eight notes to a quarter note. So one and two and three, four. And we finish uh, with uh, an A major chord. So just one strum, okay? We keep the A major very simple. So Just one strum, very simple basic chord with one strum. So there's a lot of finger picking, uh, alternate, alternate fingering. Take it step by step, guys, and see you tomorrow for another video.